Hello everyone. Welcome back to Self Development with Chan. Today we are going to look at articles. What are articles? Where to use articles and where not to use articles. So let's look into this lesson one by one with an example. Let's get started. What are articles? The words like a and the are called articles. See, they are used to make a noun sound specific and non-specific. In the last lesson, I discussed about noun. What is noun? A noun is a word which denotes a person, place, thing, animal, and an idea. So here, this articles makes a noun sound specific and non-specific. So how many types of articles are there? There are two types of articles. Number one. definite articles the indefinite a and the so different articles makes a noun sound specific okay indefinite articles makes a noun sound non specific where to use articles we always use articles for noun we just saw that uh articles makes a noun sound specific and non specific so we always use articles before noun where not to use articles so articles articles are not used before proper noun like names and places we are supposed to use the uh, articles before proper noun like names and places articles are not used sorry before plural noun and uncountable nouns again we are not supposed to use articles before plural noun and uncountable nouns and third point articles are not used before countries languages sports uh we are not supposed to use countries languages sports academic subjects and diseases so friends uh we saw that we did use articles we are supposed to use articles before the noun we are not supposed to use the articles before all this noun the first is proper noun like names and places next plural noun and uncountable noun and finally before countries there are some exception for some few countries like uh, united states united america the netherlands except those uh, uh, countries you can we are not supposed to use articles before countries languages sports academic subjects and diseases i hope so far clear to you friends we just learned that what is 
definite articles and indefinite articles what is definite articles definite articles makes a noun sound specific here we are uh, earlier we saw that where not to use articles now you're looking that where to use articles especially this definite articles we use this definite articles before oceans seas deserts mountains and few countries so in the previously i said that there are some exception for some countries so uh, which are those countries the united kingdom the united states the west indies and so on so these are the exception countries uh, where we use the articles the uh, number 2 we use articles definite this definite articles before unique things so what are those unique things the sun the moon the world and so on so we use this definite articles before ocean seas deserts mountains and few countries next we use this definite articles before unique things number 3 we use definite articles before superlative forms like the best the highest the biggest the worst the least and so on so these are the superlative forms we use these articles especially before this superlative forms next number 4 these are uh, different articles before musical instruments you know right for our musical instruments the guitar the piano the mm, saxophone etc we use this uh, different articles before this musical instruments uh, i hope this different articles is clear to you indefinite articles so what are indefinite articles a and an or indefinite articles so a and an are used to make a noun sound non specific or to talk about non specific things so in uh, so earlier we saw different articles different articles makes a noun sound specific here indefinite articles makes a noun sound non specific or to talk about a non specific thing so example here uh, let's read out the sentence do you have a pen here this is a non specific thing uh See, I'm not particularly mentioning uh, the, uh, that pen or this pen. I'm just randomly telling that. Do you have a pen? Okay. Let's look into this next sentence. I want to buy an apartment. Again, here I'm not telling this or that apartment. I'm not telling the particular place. I'm, I'm not telling the particular apartment. I'm just randomly telling that I want to buy an apartment. So as I as the statement says. use indefinite articles to make a noun sound non specific or to talk about a non specific thing i hope this is clear to you friends number 2 we use a and an when we introduce something for the first time so let's look at this example here i am introducing a car i bought a car 
see when i'm having a conversation with uh, any of our uh, opposite person uh, when i when i start my conversation i start with this i bought a car see i'm introducing this car for the first time here i ate an apple again here i'm introducing this apple for the first time so whenever you introduce something for the first time we use this indefinite article that is a and an friends we are coming to the end of our lesson uh a we to use a and we to use an in this indefinite articles again there is a you know uh there's a difference we to use a and we to use an we use a before consonant sounds and we use an before vowel sounds these are the vowel sounds a e i o u and consonant sounds b c d f and rest are all consonant sounds except this a e i o u everything is a consonant sounds in the alphabet okay so let's look at this. let's look at some some of the examples for consonant sounds a car a girl a boy a teacher etc and let's look at the example for an an apple an elephant an ice cream and so on so there is a difference wait there is a difference where to use a and where to use an all right friends uh in today's lesson i have covered uh, uh, uh all the things that is related to articles what uh, what is articles and way to use articles when not to use articles uh, what is indefinite articles what is definite articles uh, i believe this lesson is clear to you if you have any doubts or if need any clarification please let me know in the comment section below and i'll reply to you and uh, if you have any suggestions and also please let me know in the comment section and i'll uh, try to correct it in my next videos thanks for watching happy learning friends